what started off as a struggle to button his shirt and tie his shoelaces, things seven-year-olds can usually do on their own, has progressed into a possibly lifelong disorder for Jovan Ali. Well, I came home, my wife told me Jovan is in his room cursing, and he, he is not like that. So when I went to his room, there was a lot of cursing. His father, Mustak Ali, says it was only when they took his then seven-year-old son to the doctor, they learned that he had Tourette's syndrome, a disorder they did not know existed, but learned about together with their now 23-year-old son as his condition worsened. Not everybody who have it is cursed, you know, not have it severe, have everything. Um, um, yeah, it's called complex ticks. And I also have OCD as well. Yeah. Yeah, so the OCD, um, things that come with the OCD is like anxiety, bad depression, mentally ill thoughts, suicidal thoughts. It seems like you're getting a little more worse, yeah. But Jovan refuses to let his condition ruin his life. Willpower that pushed him to pass for his first choice in his SEA exams, Hillview College, make it to Form 3, and to now use his condition to uplift others in his motivational speeches. And, and as they get older, you, you will look back and you, you will be, wow, thank God I had the strength to never, to, to never give up. But even with his positive outlook on life, there are moments when having Tourette's gets to him. Whatever, when I go out, <laughs> everybody just stay, right? And sometimes there has been so much pain, you understand? So it's very, very uncomfortable. It's for these reasons Jovan and his family want to raise awareness about Tourette's. There are no schools in the Eastern Caribbean for a child with Tourette's. And there are no support groups in our country. Because their son's fight is their fight. And his pain is their pain. He had to rest his hand on my chest like this. And he said, Help me, Daddy. Help me, Daddy. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.